Hi everyone, myself Dr. Capricorn welcome to my channel, today we will be learning about beaver sign. Let's get started. Beaver sign. Let's first see how we perform this test. We ask patient to lie on a couch, in a supine position. Then ask the patient to flex his neck, without using any kind of support by hands. Simultaneously looking at umbilicus, to notice any changes in position. If the umbilicus move towards the head end, this sign is considered positive. If there is no changes, in the position of umbilicus, then this sign is considered negative. Here in this picture you can see, how to perform this test. Now, look for change in position of umbilicus. We placed a pointer, to demonstrate you any changes in position. As you can see there is slight upward shift in the umbilicus position. Therefore, beaver sign is positive in this case. Now, we will look for a more significant change, in the position of umbilicus in the upcoming video. As you can see, there is marked upward shift seen in umbilicus position. Therefore, beaver sign is positive here as well. Now, we would understand, why there is upward shift. This is because, there is weakness or paralysis of the lower part of rectus abdominis muscle. So that, the upper fibers predominates and pull the umbilicus upwards. This weakness can be caused by, first, due to involvement of lower thoracic cords by any tumor, or injury. Second, facioscapulohumeral muscular dystrophy. And this sign is considered, diagnostic sign of facioscapulohumeral muscular dystrophy. Last but not the least, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. In this image you can see, rectus muscle is highlighted. Clinical significance of beaver sign. Beaver sign is a motor sign. Thus, the clinician may determine the spinal cord lesion level without sensory findings. Furthermore, this sign can be used to differentiate between the organic causes of paraplegia from the hysterical paralysis. This sign reflects rectus abdominis muscle weakness, usually at the level of or below the umbilicus, whether due to neurological or muscular disorders. It is easy to perform by medical students, nurses, physiotherapists as well. Beaver sign is a diagnostic sign of facioscapulohumeral muscular dystrophy. Here in this picture you can see, what areas are commonly involved in FSHD. Thanks for watching. How was the video? Do let me know in comment section. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to press the bell icon for more updates. Have a great day.